Hi. We're working on the tractor again. The lens is a little. Anyways, that's better. So there's a way to put 12 volts just to the starter on these old 6 volt systems. Now, my Bendix is stuck in the position where it's not engaged to the flywheel, or on this case, we call it a ring gear. Um, it's not engaging, so I have to pull the starter off. And I know the tractor's not locked up, so that's good. Um, but I have to pull the starter off. I have a broken fastener on the starter. So we're going to go through that today. Okay, there's two bolts that go in the end cap here. They take a 7 16th head on or 5 16 18, I think. So the back one actually came out, but the front one, someone's been screwing with it and they broke it off. So I got the back one loose, wiggle the tractor out here, and I've got this shaft, which is actually the neck of the old bolt. I don't know if you can see that. Now, because I've got some traction here, I'm going to take some vice grips and see if I can spin that out. It's worth mentioning that to the best of my knowledge these bolts are seven and a quarter inches long and they're kind of hard to get so the thing to do is to buy some 5 16 18 all thread cut it off at about seven and a half inches put it through here through the starter thread it into the block and then put nuts on the back side to hold it still I'm going to do something similar and I'm going to try and get some cap nuts, but we'll just see what they have at the hardware store downtown. And this is spinning, luckily. I was afraid when they broke it off that it was not, that it was going to be seized in there. I don't know what they were doing to break it off. Maybe they had it off and put it back on. So, let me go through here with the rest of the starter removal. Obviously, you'll want to remove any sort of battery source to it. This bolt will be no good, I imagine, when I'm done with it. And I could just weld something on the end of it, but we're not going to play that game. Because I need this to work for a long time. So it's loose right there. Try and slide it back a little bit if I can. There it goes. You can see it's actually coming out here where they twisted it off. And then... Have trouble getting that out you are not the only one that's ever had trouble getting that out you can see here that's a little loose i can do that i'm going to rebuild the starter oh. whole thing's coming apart that's okay there. You can see we got uh, four brushes bearing in there, and then these are your electromagnets. Actually, doesn't look too bad in there. Let's set this off to the side. Now we'll need to clean this part up. It's pretty normal. You can save that bearing. Not a bearing, bushing. Yeah, this is the broke off bolt. You can see where it gets smaller there at the end. That's where somebody broke it off. Uh huh. Oh, there she goes. There's our problem right there. See how rusty that is? I think you can see that. And these things have to move pretty easy. So that's what you're, or what I'm fighting here. Oh, there it goes, it moved a little bit. 
That's your, uh, that's your spring, and this is a ratchet type. And as this turns that way, up that way, it'll push this out. And once it gets pushed to a certain position, actually that's working pretty good, it'll lock. And then there's a roll pin underneath here that has to come out. But yeah, it's not quite, imagine a little bit of lubricant might actually be able to clean this up. Anyways, that's your starter removal. This works on 2N, 8N, and 9N tractors, and possibly some more. But there we go. And then this, when it spins that away, you can see right there. I'm sorry about the camera, guys. I'm going to soak this in some oil and get me some threaded rod. See if we can get us a tractor that spins over the starter. All right, I'm gonna go to the hardware store. I'm gonna get me some 5 16 all thread and some nuts. I'm gonna try and take a vehicle that's got working air conditioning because it's hot. And uh, subscribe for more stuff. If you have a question about these tractors that I might be able to do a video on to answer your question, that's fine. If you just have a question, just leave it in the comments and I'll try to get to it and answer it. Thanks so much for watching.